Hello to all physics enthusiasts and fans of physical experiments. This is Andrei Shchetnikov, and today we will discuss a pressing question that, as it turns out, not everyone can answer clearly. Why do satellites not fall to the Earth? The correct answer, if formulated briefly, is this. Satellites are constantly falling towards the Earth. They just lack time to fall all the way down. But if the Earth were flat instead of spherical, satellites would certainly undoubtedly fall to such an Earth. And now we will calculate how this happens. For the sake of simplicity and calculations, I will assume that the acceleration of free fall over flat Earth is constant and d equal to 10 meters per second squared. Let the satellite currently fly horizontally at an altitude of 200 kilometers with a speed of 8 kilometers per second. To find the time of fall of a body from a height h, we will use the formula h equals gt squared divided by 2. From this, t equals the square root of 2 ors divided by ge. And for our data, this time is 200 seconds. During this time, the satellite will manage to fly horizontally for 1600 kilometer and will crash into the earth if we disregard air resistance in this whole story. And now we will easily understand why a satellite does not fall to the spherical earth. It is constantly falling towards it. But its speed is such that as much as the satellite descends, the Earth curves away at the same rate. So, while falling to the Earth, the satellite remains at the same height above it all the time. We see this idea in the illustration in Isaac Newton's Mathematical Principia Mathematica. If you shoot a cannon horizontally from a high mountain and do not take air resistance into account in our model, then at a low speed the projectile will fall not far from the mountain. If the speed is greater, it will fall further, and so on. It will start to fall after having traveled a noticeable part of the arc of a circle, at a certain speed. It will simply orbit the entire Earth, return, and continue flying in a circle. This speed is called the first cosmic velocity. Of course, we have a separate video about it, and we recommend you watch it, but we will calculate the magnitude of this speed right now. Assume the satellite flies low above Earth with an orbit radius near Earth's 6400 kilometer. Earth's gravity provides the satellite with centripetal acceleration equal to V2 divided by R. This is the same acceleration with which the satellite falls towards the Earth. Moreover, I will assume that in low orbit it is almost indistinguishable from the acceleration due to gravity G on the surface of the Earth. Thus, the value of the first cosmic velocity is equal to the square root of gm, which is 7.9 km per second. And now you will definitely be able to explain why a satellite does not fall to the Earth while constantly falling towards it. And you now have a new argument for hopeless discussions with flat earthers? Thank you for your attention. Music